In today's Hands on Gardening, we are talking about earwigs. And joining me is Steve Hunziger from the UW Extension Office. Steve, uh, earwigs, uh, really quite a factor this year for some reason. A lot of calls on them. Um, and it seems like most of the calls that you get are, do they bite or do they hurt people? And, and uh, why don't you talk a little bit about what exactly an earwig is, first of all, and then how you can control it. Well, the earwig looks intimidating because it has those nice pinchers on the back that we... Uh tend to think are going to pinch us or bite us, and that's not really the case. Once in a while, they'll pinch about an inch long, the bug is, and, and recognizable with those pinchers in the back. Mostly an outdoor pest, uh, one that may feed on some of our common flowers that we have out, marigolds, hostas, petunias. They like nice, moist areas to live in, and so uh, commonly we encounter them outdoors. Sometimes we can even get them in the house. Okay, and how would you can con uh, control them? They're actually quite easily to uh, control. Yeah, there's lots of different ways. They're a night feeder, so they're usually out at night. You can go out with a flashlight to see if they're really... Uh, feeding on your plants, but then come in with some type of control, simply rolling up some newspaper, uh, providing a board or some kind of trap out there to collect them all in because they're going to hide during the day. Then just putting them into a bucket uh, with soap and water usually will take care of them. If they do make it into your house, sweeping them up, vacuuming, uh, flushing them down a sink, you know, with some water will uh, help control them. And they do overwinter in the soil here in Wisconsin. So about July or this time of the year, that's when they start to come out. They mate and reproduce. That's when we're really going to see the biggest number. All righty. A little advice there for the uh, lowly earwig. And that is today's hands-on gardening. And this is very interesting because I just found one of these in my house and I was online, you know, looking Trying at all the pictures. Trying to see termite or yeah. something dangerous. Yeah. Most of the calls I get, people are afraid that they're going to bite or they're going to, you know, uh, they're venomous, but they're not. They just look intimidating and they're really actually quite easy to, to take care of. And uh, most of the damage that they're going to do will be confined mainly to plant material. They really don't bother things in the house if they get in. All right. That's good news. Thanks, Corey.